What is up guys, it is Jesse here, and I just got new uh, Pokemon cards, and this one's the Breakpoint, so we're going to be opening one Breakpoint Blister Pack, and one uh, um, mythical new Pokemon Generations Pack, so that's going to be fun, and so let's get right into it. Okay, so we're going to open the Mythical Mew, so you guys can see. Pretty straightforward. Alright, let's open it up. Oh god, this hurts. It hurts sounding the ripping of paper. Oh god. Okay, let's just see if we can slide it out. Okay. Oh god, that was terrible. What's this? Oh, that's cool. It's a little, tiny little poster of the, like, seal. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so enough with that. So, oh god. Okay, shouldn't have done that. So, open up the inside. Here's our two Pokemon Generations packs. Pikachu and Bastoise. Um, code card. And then our promo. Ooh, it's shiny and glossy. It's the Mew. Pretty cool. Okay, I'll put that there. And then we get this cool Mew pin to add to our other collection of pins. Like that. So let's put that in there. So we're going to open these two Pokemon Generations packs. And so we'll open Blastoise first. No, Pikachu. Blastoise has always got the goods. Okay. I think it's three from the back, like always. I hope. Oh god, there was something back there. I saw something. This is crazy. Alright, let's try to get the camera angle up. Alright, so there's Wobbuffet with lipstick on. Evo Soda. Clefable. Ponyta. Machop. Lightning Energy. Doduo. Tangela. Ooh. Oh, what the? Oh, I guess it's four from the back. Or is that? Okay. All right. So, whoa, that is awesome. All right. So we get a Flareon EX. I think that's one of the rare, one of the rarer cards in this. Oh, no, it is three from the back because this is the rating collection, I think. Yeah. Yeah, RC rating collection. So this is a good pull. Put this to the side, and then we'll open Blastoise, which who's got the goods? I hope. Just kidding, we already got the goods. I think it's, uh, my god, this thing's not focusing. All right, I think it's just one uh, ultra rare in each Pokemon Generations mythical thing. So we're gonna see if that's true. So we're gonna go three from the back. So I guess it is possible to get two ultra rares. So we got Swablu. Okay, hold on. Getting a better, oh my God, there's something else. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. So we got Swablu. I saw something black back there. Revitalizer. This is crazy, guys. Red card. A water energy. Crabby. I'm just kidding, Krabby. Go Ghastly. Meowth. Mm, Ghastly, there's something black. I know. Guys, wouldn't it be crazy if we got two ultra rare? Like, just two. Ultra rare. Yeah, that would be, oh my god. Ready? 
Oh, oh, it's behind this. Oh, okay, so we get a hollow frost last. Oh my god, I can see it. Oh, oh Venusaur EX. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, wow. Oh my god. I love how they're, oh, it's glossy. I love how they're going back with like the Venusaur Charizard and Blastoise, but oh, seriously, look at this. Guys, I, this isn't weight, I swear. Like, I don't even know how you weigh these huge boxes, but two out of two packs are awesome. Venusaur and Flareon EX both are awesome. And then we also got this Hollow Frost last, but I don't care about him. We, oh God, how, how do you even do that? Like, I've seen on YouTube all these people opening up these, uh, these, the Mythical Muse, and they only get like, one in each box and I just got two two out of two you know what I've had a theory a th my theory is in the base set what I've saw on YouTube every single time they've pulled a ultimate like a really good Charizard like base set Charizard holographic you know you get it rarest card almost it was in a Blastoise pack. And I got that, I got this, because they're all shuffled and they all have different ones. So it had a Blastoise pack and a Pikachu pack. And the reason I chose Blastoise and Pikachu is because, was because Charizard and uh, Venusaur, like they got good pulls, but I had to go with Pikachu because he's like one of my favorite Pokemons. But look what, look what it got us. Pikachu pack, Char uh, Blastoise pack. What do you guys think? I think you guys go to the store right now, buy yourself a Mythical Mew or Mythical Celebi, I saw that too, and get a Pikachu and Blastoise booster pack and you get these two cards, which is insane. Now we are going for the break point. <laughs> we still got one more pack. Can we go three out of three? It, I did, I weighed it like with my hands, you know, and this felt a little heavier than the rest. So we're going with my boy Green Ninja. This is really weird to open. I don't really like opening these. But I mean, I like them better than just selling the normal packs because people can rip us off and give us... Oh, whoa. That doesn't usually happen to Green Ninja inside of a Green Ninja. It's usually like Green Ninja and then one of these. But then it's, okay. Good luck, I guess. So, I know this is three for the back. This is my first breakpoint opening. Okay. Comes with a code card. Okay. Starting to get crazy, guys. Mm. Are you guys ready? Mawile. Fighting Fury Belt. Max Potion, Slowpoke, Clefairy, Psyduck looking up at the sky, Phantom, Glammeow, Per Ugly, and oh, okay, what the hell? Guys, look. We got a Greninja, no, we got a Greninja Blister Pack, followed by a Greninja Pack, and then we get a Greninja for the rare. What does that mean? What? I'm confused. Cause that's really weird. We look at this, three green ninjas. Green ninja, whatever. How, how do you pronounce it? Something's up guys. Is this our luck changing from good to bad or bad to, bad to worse? Bad to, <laughs> bad to good. Guys, this can be good. Let's go with our... Recap. All right, guys, so for the recap, we got a Green Ninja for the regular rare. I'm just doing this because we only got four out of three, which was kind of weird. And so that, that's, I put that in there because that was a 
awkward Greninja, like three Greninjas in one, so that was odd, so that's a lucky card. I'm gonna actually like put that somewhere good. Then we get a Hollow Frostlass, and then we get Flareon EX. Well, this is like Vaporeon and Jolteon and Flareon both looking up at the camera. I don't know what these are. Can you guys, like, tell me in the comments or something, like, what are these? I really would love to know. Something having to do with the new Pokemon Sun and Moon game? I don't know. And then, oh, then we get the Venusaur EX, which is crazy. <laughs> Frog Hop, <laughs> that's a funny. Okay, so post in the comments if you want me to do more, and see you next time. Okay, guys, so just a little quick thing at the end of the video. I actually got a GoPro for Christmas, and it's been a while since, well, it's been a while for me to use it, and I actually just got done making a box for it, kind of makeshift box, but it's actually pretty cool, and you can do it for anything in your home. So all you need is some snazzy duct tape, and then, like, a, uh, a, uh, um... Shoe box, Nike shoe box, yeah. And then what you do is you get like the stuff that came inside the shoe, like the, the squishy stuff, and put that in and wrap it around with duct tape, your snazzy duct tape. Snazzy. And it makes like little cool columns for each. And you could also do that with pockets. But like I got my GoPro. We're gonna go to Hawaii in, I th what is it? Vegan years. Oh, um, Two April 20th. One month. Wait, yeah, one month. April 20, April 19th, we're going to Hawaii. What? We're going there for 10 days, right? April 19th? Nine, nine days. April 19th? 20. 20. Okay, we're going there the 20th, and we're going to be there for 10 days. Nine days. Nine days. And it's going to be awesome. I'll film so much. I'm going to have, like, a video every single day. None of my vlogging channel. I'm not doing that anymore. But stay tuned to Sharka Studios. And see you guys later.